good morning one Scott or the Scott man and we are back in Michigan again after a nice trip to San Antonio I figured I'd go ahead and film a video back here in the state of Michigan so here we are today we're gonna drive north on M53 from where it begins back at Gratiot although Van Dyke itself continues further to the south but this is primarily gonna be M53 and as I realized that I filmed the expressway slash freeway portion of M53 from like 18 mile all the way up to 34 mile. So we're going to film up to that point today. So we're going to go through the east side of Detroit and we're going to make our way up to or up through Warren, Centerline and Sterling Heights. And we'll conclude the video at 18 mile. And then, yeah, we're just going over I-94 over here. That, that red car looked very impatient because it's like it was trying to go into the intersection and I haven't even passed by him yet. Is it, yeah, M53 goes a long way. It goes all the way up to the thumb of Michigan. Which, if you, if, you, if, you, if you take a look at the state of Michigan on a map, the lower peninsula looks like a mitten. Oh, I got lucky with that traffic light. It just turned red behind me. So, so like, if you look at the area where like, you go north along M53, it goes into an area of the state of Michigan which looks like a thumb. That's why it's called the Thumb of Michigan. So yeah, this will take you all the way up to around the tip of the thumb, which is near Port Austin, Michigan. And it, yeah, in fact, if you haven't been up to Port Austin, it's a very nice area. And it's a pretty nice drive up, up to Port Austin, especially if you go along Lake Huron on, on M25. Something's going on up, up ahead. Let's proceed with caution here. Oh, looks like he might have blew a tire or something. morning it's cold it in fact it just or we just had a cold front come through I think Thursday night the uh, heck it get up to like 60 degrees Fahrenheit or a little bit more than that Thursday yeah I better stop just to play it safe it's like yeah well I was up at that red light no cars came off of lunch almost like they should deactivate the traffic light during the weekends, but I, then again, I, I don't, I don't live in the Detroit city limits, so I, so it's hard, it's hard to say. So up anyway, so yeah, Thursday, it was our first day in 2019 so far where it's gotten above 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Or like in Celsius, that'd be between 15 and 20 degrees. But now it's gotten cold again, so we're kind of like around the freezing mark. Oh, in fact, we even had a heavy snow squall come through this morning. That's why you can see a little bit of snow on the ground, and just in pockets. Roads on the other hand are, are okay, so. Well, heck, the roads should be pretty warm since we just had that big warm up. But yeah, the, the official first day of spring's only a few days away. Which would be a nice, well, it's been a nice change because it hasn't been as cold or snowy this month. Which it's, it's usually around average to where the amount of snow starts to go down once you enter March, at least for Southeast Michigan. Yeah, it's 
like, yeah, as you can pretty much tell, like, right around here, it's like, other than the this beautiful cemetery off to the right, like, it doesn't feel like the best of the areas of Detroit, so, but in the daytime, it'll be, it should be just fine. I, I wouldn't want to drive on this at, at night, however. What's all these random traffic lights all of a sudden? Well, I mean, red lights, I should say. Oh, there's traffic coming out for this one, but not much. Okay, so... But, nevertheless, I really like how it's quite sunny out right now, although it looks like I'm going to be driving into a bunch of clouds further to the north. But, yeah, believe it or not, they weren't calling for, there was, they weren't calling for this much sunshine today, so... Can't say I'm complaining, though. <laughs> oh, wow, all, all, all right up to the seven mile. indeed pothole season because since we're seeing rapid fluctuations of temperatures that's where you're getting all your different dense bumps pop potholes all in the roads so it's like if you have you if it's like if you have you watch the news or anything like well or the local news around here they talk complain about the potholes they're not kidding <laughs> because yeah they're all over, although some roads are pretty good, though, because they do, because they will patch them and resurface different roads, but the roads that they haven't gotten to in a long time, just be careful. <laughs> it's like, it, yeah, if, you, if you get a rental car for driving around the De metro Detroit area, Unless your credit card has like an insurance coverage or something, it may not be a bad idea to take out the the, the insurance which comes with your rental car. And here we are, here is eight mile. It's like we were just here not too long ago filming a driving video. sign right up there where we are, everybody is technically breaking the law right now because it says do not enter but no it's it's, it's not supposed to be like that so I think somehow the wind probably got that got the got the sign turn around or something because yeah this is perfectly legal unless you're driving the wrong side of the road of course but I just figured I'd just make a little joke out of that but, so after crossing 8 Mile, we are now in Macomb County, and also we are now in Warren. So, matter of fact, uh, just before my trip to San Antonio, I filmed a driving tour around Warren. And for the exception of a little small stretch near the Warren, or the, yeah, the GM Tech Center, that we'll be passing by in a few miles, I pretty much stayed off of Van Dyke just because of this video that I'm filming right now. So you can say this is this is an add-on to the Warren driving tour video, but with a lot better better weather. Sun we've got a lot of sunshine and there are no snow showers in sight, like in that other video.
feel like, yeah, it's, there's, I've seen a couple Tim Hortons closed down throughout Metro Detroit, but at the same time, I've seen other one, new ones open, so they're probably just doing different things. Uh, If you've watched my Warren driving tour video, it's like I, like, for where I feel like I've, I driven, I drove in that video, it was mostly residential, but yeah, Van Dyke is where you, where you have all your different stores, a lot of restaurants, different shops, stores, you name it, along Van Dyke. center line is that it is a city enclosed within a city. Kind of like how Highland Park is a city enclosed within Detroit. A center line is completely enclosed within the city of Warren. Yet if you go east toward Hoover or west toward Mound, you're back in Warren again. So center line is primarily along Van Dyke, pretty much from the area just south of 10 Mile, all the way up to a little bit beyond 696, which will be there in about, an, about a minute. I almost was about to say an hour. light looks green up ahead so I can almost guarantee you'll be stopping at, at that light up ahead but yeah, like I want to yeah, talk about yeah, the college basketball stuff but I have this crazy feeling I'm going to be stopping up ahead I could be wrong though so I figure I'll just hold on I'll hold on for a quick minute Yep, I was right. Well, not this light specifically, but the next one, so I'm glad I waited. Kind of surprised nobody's in this lane, especially since if you want to go west on 11 mile and 696, you have to do one of those U-turns over here. So yeah, with college basketball, we're just about to be entering what's called March Madness. We got the big NCAA tournament starting at sometime, yeah, middle, yeah, middle of next week. Yeah, right now the last of the conference tournaments are going on, like you know, like the Big Ten, for example. You guys are down in the last four right now. It feels you know, today we got Michigan State playing Wisconsin, and then Michigan playing Minnesota. So yeah, those should be pretty good games. Although I'd see Michigan State and Michigan winning those two games, and then that'd be an interesting Big Ten championship game, Michigan and Michigan State. Which, yeah, Michigan State would be at the advantage because uh, Michigan ended up losing to State both times in the regular season. But then again, 
Michigan's been playing very well in the Big Ten tournament the past, the previous two years. So yeah, you never know. They may, they might surprise the Spartans. But we'll wait and see, though. They'll both be in the in the big tournament, no matter what, though. It's it's almost it's more gonna come down to where they're seated in the tournament. And then, yeah, unfortunately, uh, the university I went to, Oakland University, they did not win their conference tournament, so yeah, they're not going to be in the NCAA tournament, unfortunately. They've made it a couple, I think once or twice though in the past decade. I think, yeah, the past decade, but they lost in the first round. Oh, yeah, Ben. Watch the Warren driving tour video. This is <laughs> deja vu all over again. We're driving by the GM Tech Center. As I was saying in that video, one of my uncles uh, retired from there, I think just in the past few months. in the area around the center part of Warren where the Civic Center is. Yeah, that was a very fast red light. But unfortunately we got another one at old 13 mile. Because of the because of the temperatures, but it looked like the snow hardly accumulated here. Kind of like back down in Detroit, but it's probably melt. It's probably all melting at the same time. But yeah, especially because of the GM or the yeah the GM Tech Center closer back down to 12 Mile. Yeah, you got a lot of hotels along in here, a lot of restaurants. Even a lot of fast food restaurants, Taco Bell, another Checkers, and a McDonald's up there too. This is the border between Warren and Sterling Heights. So we're here at 14 Mile, we got another four miles to go in today's video. Got a lot of stores over here. Walmart, Valley City Furniture. Huh. Got a Lebanese Grill to the left. Middle Eastern foods, uh, sorry. Middle Eastern food sounds really good right now. Yeah, kind of like in Warren, Van Dyke, and Sterling Heights, a lot, a lot of retail stores, fast food restaurants, restaurants. And then, yeah, as you get to tell up ahead, as you get up toward 15 Mile, this becomes a boulevard. 
But yeah, in Western Macomb County, uh, excluding the freeways, of course, uh, this is technically more conge more a more congested way of going north and or south. Just because, yeah, I feel like the traffic flow on Mount Road seems, at least to me, seems to be a little bit better. So I think they, if I'm not mistaken, they, I think they originally intended it to be. M53 at one point, or they were planning to, but they decided not to. The reason why I say that is because Mountain Road from like around M59 all the way down into the Detroit City limits is it's all a boulevard. And not only that, but there's a full interchange with 696, unlike Van Dyke, which does not. So in some cases, it might almost be easier to take Mound if you're going south from like the Utica area down to 696, especially to get on the freeway. But they decided to truncate M53 along Van Dyke. But if you do take Mound, uh, you can easily get over to the freeway portion of M53 because around 18 and a half mile, there's a nice little connector which comes off of Mound, which is, yeah, 18 and a half mile, and it hooks on over to the big roundabout that's along M53, Van Dyke, and 18 and a half mile. We won't be seeing that in this video, but in my other M53 video, yeah, you'll definitely will see that. And then, yeah, as you can tell, you have more, more restaurants, Got your different chains. There's a mire back there. And it appears Metro Parkway. It's another road I covered in a driving video, I think a couple years ago. Oh no, that was like, yeah, two, yeah, no, it was like three years ago. Assembly plant for Chrysler off to our left. But yeah, look off to the left. They had to a pretty large facility or assembly plant. off to our right, uh, that's Ike's Restaurant. Uh, I covered a Trail of the Lights video there. Can't remember, I think it was, not this last year, but I think it was the year before. I remember going there and trying some of the grape leaves. In fact, they gave you so much food that I ended up having leftovers. technically in the center of Sterling Heights. We've got another mile to go before we end today's driving video.
watching today and if you want to watch more of my driving videos click on the video link on the left side of the screen so thanks for watching this is scott with the scott man signing out